Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is Can Love Survive a Big Age Gap? I absolutely love this question because today there's so many more choices that we have than maybe there were in the past. More, more things are acceptable. You don't have to, to answer to everybody when you make certain choices anymore. People are still going to have their critiquing, their opinions, and their judgment, but it's much more acceptable, to, acceptable today to be able to love whoever you want. And that is one of the great things as we progress in life. If you fall in love with somebody who's 10, 15, 20 years different to you, and it's true love, where is it anybody's right to judge what you're doing? I think it is amazing if you can find love and have a really compatible relationship with somebody where you compromise, you're, you get along really well together, age isn't always going to come into play and be a problem. Now, as we get older, sometimes if you've got a 20 year age gap, there can be some, some different things that happen where you're at one stage of your life and they're at another stage. Maybe you can't do things together, you know, in a fitness sense that you used to. So those can be little glitches that come in. And after a while, if you're starting to do things separately from each other all the time, that can be a problem. But people who end up in age gap situations usually figure out how to combat those those issues and work around them. And it's all about compromise in any relationship, regardless of what age you are. You could be the same age and still have a lot of issues that you're constantly dealing with. I say, if you fall in love with somebody, go for it. Who cares about the age and what other people think? You might be with somebody and married to them for 10, 15, 20 years, and you're the same age, and all of a sudden you break up. Well, this can happen with any couple. I understand that there's more to deal with when you have big age differences. There is a lot more compromise that comes into play. But usually the couple that are in this situation will figure out a way to make things work. And that's the beauty of being able to choose who you want to love. Many people would question this. They meet somebody who's, let's go with 15 years, 15 years difference in age. And they start questioning, should I even go there? Is it worth it? It's the same with a long distance relationship. Should I even bother? What am I doing? I'm going to make my life more complicated. I'm going to have all these barriers and different things come into play that I can't have if I was in a relationship that was in my hometown or same age of person I'm, and same friends and all that kind of stuff. I truly believe that when you fall in love with somebody and you have a deep connection with them, it's definitely worth going there. Because sometimes you go through life and you never meet that, or very rarely meet that special person. No matter how much time you have with somebody that you love, it's always worth it. We don't know how long we have in this world. And that's why I really believe it's important to live your life large every day. And go for what is there for you and what brings you joy, what brings you happiness when it's there. You'll decide at a later date if you just feel that you've disconnected from one another, but don't throw away something that's really great just because maybe it's not as accepted in society or maybe you're being criticized by your friends and your family all the time. Do what works for you. That's the important thing here. They're not living your life, you're living it. So it's important for you to do what works for you. If you're really having all these instincts and gut feelings that you shouldn't really be there, then there's more to the story here. There's something that you're feeling that's a bit of a disconnect between the two of you, and then maybe you want to question it. But if you've got a lot of similarities, you get along like a house on fire with each other, you, you talk about everything, you're communicative, you have similar goals, similar uh, friends and, and interests, then it I think it's really worth giving it a shot because I know couples that are 20 years difference and they've been together for 15, 20 years and it's worked for them. Today we have so much more 
tools and things at our fingertips that can help us understand relationships, work through problems, and figure out what's important to us. And that's what makes a good relationship, is understanding all of the dynamics that go in a good relationship. It's not just one or two things. So weigh it all out. And if you're saying to yourself, Ugh, I don't know about this, listen to that. If you're saying, you know what, I don't care. I really have a, a strong bond with this person. Everybody's bugging me about it. Maybe don't see those people very much. If they're, if they're causing problems and making you doubt yourself and your relationship, go with what your gut says, what your heart says, but be realistic. Like any relationship that you end up in, you ask yourself a lot of questions. You look at things as, how are they? How are we together? What are our interests? What do we have that's compatible? What are our, our life goals, our relationship goals? Are they on the same page? And that's how you should treat every relationship you're in, regardless of whether there's an age gap. Because sometimes you can have a relationship for 25 years when there's a huge gap and everything flows really well. So in, in, in closing to this for me, I would just look at everything as I would in any other relationship. And if, if you have all the stuff that makes a great partner, partnership, give it a shot. I don't think you're going to be regretting that you did it because you're going to have some wonderful memories, wonderful times, and maybe a long, long, long relationship. Thanks so much everyone for tuning in today. Please leave your comments, your questions, and please subscribe to my channel today. Thank you so much everyone.